Welcome back to Breast of Campus. Just some encouragement on maintaining your emunan bitachon, your faith and trust in Hashem in life. As a rule, nobody, nobody, no doctor, no professor, no marriage counselor, nobody in the world has the right to break and bring down your faith and trust in hoping for Hashem, for salvation, for things to get good or better in life. No one. Even the worst news that you're given, it's not at all allowed to bring you down. As a Jew, our main thing is hope. Having hope that Hashem is always there for us and will be there even against all the natural odds. As much as a human being may be advanced and educated and qualified to say what he's saying, at the end of the day, he's still a human being. There's always Hashem who's the one who's running the world. And therefore, one of the biggest tests in life is when you're presented information that makes you feel down and negative, thus chipping, making holes, cracks in your faith and in your bitachon, your trust in Hashem. So because of that, whenever you do hear news, like bad news, negative news, that makes you feel like all is lost and all is just broken everything, you must maintain as much as possible not to, not to accept it. To be strong and to be hopeful because that's all you have. And anyways, there's no other option based on what they're saying. On the other side, they're saying, okay, there's no hope for the situation. There's no hope, there's no hope. So you must do your best to maintain a positive attitude until or there's a breakthrough or until or you're able to positively with such simcha and a positive attitude, accept the bad news as being really a bracha in disguise and not something bad and negative. This applies to everything in life. Everything in life. That a person should be super duper strong in not bending, not having to feel that the other person, what they say, he's more qualified, he has the right to break me, to make me feel negative. Even if whatever he's saying may be the truth, Ultimately, the real truth is in Hashem's hands. And the ultimate truth of a Jew is to walk around 24 hours a day, every day, seven days a week, with strong emuna and bitachon. Because this is the essence of being a Jew. Like Chava Kuk says, or King David says, sorry, in Psalms, kol mitzvotecha emuna, that the, all of my mitzvot are the backbone of everything is emunah and a Jew during the day is filled with doing mitzvah performance and the backbone behind that is that there should be emunah and also like Chavakuk said, this is the Chavakuk statement V'tzadik be'emunato yichye A tzadik lives with his faith meaning faith is needed all day long and when people come along or situations come along and attempt to break your emunah you don't have to give in if you feel that it's bringing your emunah down, you feel less encouraged, less enhanced, less fired up and energized to do emunah-based devotions, such as davening, such as being positive, being happy, etc. Because even happiness is based on emunah. Someone has emunah, that Hashem is guiding everything, he can always be happy, Bezat Hashem. Anything or anybody who comes along to break that, you don't have the right, you don't have the obligation to accept what they're saying as being true. And this can even go so far as religious leaders, religious teachers, religious mentors. If the message you are given is breaking you, then you don't have to accept it. To finish with this, once somebody approached Rav Nossin and told him that he started learning the book called Reshit Chochmah. Reshit Chochmah is a major Musa work, an ethical book, and has a lot of scary teachings about what happens to a person after his passing, during the passing, during the Leviah, the, the, the ceremony, and in the burial, what happens to the body. And it's very scary, and for many people it can be very, very depressing. And the man complained to Rav Nossin that he gets very broken when reading the book. So Rav Nossin answered like this, the intent of the author of this book was not to break you, not to make you feel down and depressed and feeling of no value. If now reading this book 
makes you feel that way, then read something else. And here you see something amazing. That just because something like it's Torah, it has to be the truth, if it's making you feel negative, you don't have to accept it. You have, it's more important to maintain a positive attitude. We're not saying to be, it's good to be false as long as you're happy. We're not saying that because there's many pathways to how to serve Hashem in Judaism, yes. But if there's a certain pathway that's breaking your devotion to God and making you feel down, if there's a certain activity you're doing, a certain consultation you're going to, a certain doctor you're going to, and they're making you feel negative, so then try another approach that gives hope and gives light and be positive. But no one has the right to make you feel you've reached a dead end and it's over. Whether in the Torah world and especially in the secular world. Because you have the upper hand. You are, who are you, essence essentially? You are your emuna and your bitachon. That's you. And if anybody touches and breaks and brings down your emuna and bitachon, your faith and trust, it's basically killing you. It's basically making a hole in you. And therefore, you don't have to bend to whatever anyone says if it's making you feel down. Even in Torah again, the stress is like this, that even in Judaism, you must have teachings that build you, that support you, bring you up. And if now it's breaking you, you do not have to accept it as being the real truth. We should be Zohar Bezat Hashem, we should have the merit to always find truth, and with that come to real emuna and faith and trust in Hashem, and grow and not to just fall back, God forbid. <laughs>